I hope everyone is ready for some good news today because you, yes, you, the viewer at home, can now generate text to video. Yes, it's a thing, it's real, and it's here. Of course, this is using the AI known as Cog Video. This is actually the GitHub page for it. I will link this down in the description below. And we can see the original demo that I actually covered in a different video. I just, you know, this is before it was sort of released, but now it's available for public access. And you can see this four second little clip of all of these different videos using Cog Video AI, which is really impressive. I mean, it's shockingly impressive. Not only is it actually pretty coherent at generating the images themselves, but the animation is actually honestly kind of good. So yeah, this is just some really interesting stuff. And I am super excited to share this with you guys today and show you how you guys can actually use it at home for free. And to my knowledge, this is really the only text to video generator that actually exists right now. Um, if I'm wrong about that, please let me know down in the comments below. And also in the comments below, please let me know what you think about the future of text to video AI. Maybe one day all of the media we consume will just be fully AI generated. Full movies that you describe yourself can be AI generated. I mean, that prospect seems really insane. But I mean, this sort of is the proof of concept that one day it will be a thing that exists. And everyone, I'd also like to share with you my Discord server, which I have to say has been absolutely popping lately. We've got over 1,000 members here on the Discord server. You can chat with other viewers of the channel. You can submit your own AI-generated media, which you can see right here. You can suggest your prompts to actually become generated in AIs like Dolly 2. And you can also go ahead and submit different video ideas to actually be created as videos on this channel. And yeah, lots of people submit very interesting stuff. So go ahead and check it out with the link in the description. Anyways, moving swiftly into text to video, Kong video. So this model is honestly really insane. Here are some of the specs and details. Largest general domain text to video generation pre-training model with 9.4 billion, with a B, billion parameters. That is crazy. Dolly 2 is about three and a half billion parameters, and that's just text to image. So yeah, video definitely requires quite a lot more parameters, and that's why it seems to be so coherent with the examples, for example. Cog Video effectively utilizes the pre-trained text-to-image generative model, which is known as Cog View 2, to the text-to-video generative model and uses a multi-frame rate hierarchical training strategy. So this is some advanced stuff. And I also believe that the company behind this is Chinese-based. So essentially all text you enter into this AI is going to be translated from English into simplified Chinese, which is similar to uh, Russian Dolly or Shonenkov AI, which I've covered on this channel, which is a very, very good uh, text to image model. But yeah, very, very impressive specifications nonetheless. So these video parameters are 480 by 480, four second long at eight frames per second. So yeah, I mean, it's nothing like crazy, like 30 frames per second actual video, but they're sort of like little GIFs so to speak. So this is the demo site, which I will link down below. You actually can't generate anything with this specific site. That's a different site that we'll talk about later. But this is sort of where you can see all of the different uh, models at work and you can see the different generations being generated. I think it's also really important to note though that this site takes absolutely forever to load. I like there's all these different options that you can pick from, but I can't seem to get any data from any of this out. I mean, there's, I'm sure there's a lot of cool stuff to look at here, but I can't see it because it takes so darn long to load. But we do have these four examples of a boy running on the grass. And I gotta say, they're actually pretty good. This one's probably my favorite. You can see the mountains and the grass and everything. And he really does sort of run towards the camera. And this is two separate boys running. So yeah, it's pretty insane stuff nonetheless. So there are actually two different methods where you can try this out for yourself. And this is where we're actually going to be looking at some legitimate examples today. So here on replicate.com, which I will link down below, is Nightmare AI's cog video so they've uploaded their own version to the website again this isn't created by nightmare ai uh, they just uploaded it to the website but as you can see here is a very good example of a cat and you can actually see there's two different ways that it's sort of generated we've got this pixely version and then this higher version and if you want this really clear version that you're seeing right now it's going to take about 45 minutes to generate and i haven't really had much luck with replicate.com's cog video sort of being able to generate stuff but you guys might have 
better luck at getting it to work. This prompt was obviously a black cat. You can change the seed up to 100,000 different uh, various seeds. And again, everything needs to be translated uh, from English to simplified Chinese. And if you uncheck this both stages, I believe this is where you get this sort of pixely video version, but it's a lot faster. And then I don't know if the guidance is without this one as well, but this is another thing that sort of ups the coherency of the video itself. And as you guys can see right here, we have various different examples. So this one was a Canadian goose just sort of floating around and it actually got the reflection down very nicely here. Um, but nevertheless, it's actually a pretty decent generation and you can sort of see the waves rippling in the background and it's actually pretty realistic with the way the goose is moving. Here's another one. This is a goose honking. He doesn't really seem to open his mouth, but he is just sort of standing there. But it is a pretty coherent looking goose. Now, this next one is a cheeseburger flying in the air. And this one's my favorite of the bunch. You can see him sort of float up and back down. There's some debris sort of on the side here, but the background's actually pretty stable. And so is the cheeseburger. The cheeseburger sort of maintains its cheeseburger shape, and it's definitely floating. There's definitely an animation there to say that he's floating. Here's another cat one. This is just a blue cat. It's just a very stable image. Not really much is going on, and you just sort of see the cat. And this last one is a happy dog. He sort of looks like he's really happy looking up at his owner, something sort of along the lines of that. But he is animated pretty well, I think for a beginning text uh, to video model. But yeah, this one's also very good. So yeah, with the link in the description, you can give this COG video a shot. I haven't had much luck with this one though, so that's why we're moving on to the next site. I think a lot of you guys are gonna recognize this site. This is HuggingFace.com, and now Hugging Face is hosting COG Video. AI text to video. So I will also link this one down below. I was actually able to get this one to work, although the only problem was I'm not able to have all the settings that I was able to have with replicate.com. So you don't really get the higher uh, smoothed out resolution photo. It's only that blurry pixely one. But nevertheless, we can actually give it a shot in today's video. And it's actually pretty darn quick uh, for being text to video. Let's just do a classic lemon prompt. As many of you subscribers know, I love to start out with lemon prompts. So we have to press this translate to Chinese button so it automatically translates it to Chinese with us. I don't know about using other Chinese uh, translators if that might get you a better output. Uh, that's something that can be explored in the future, but we just click the run button right here and we can see that hugging face begins to put us in the queue. Now this does take some time, I won't lie. It's a lot slower than any text to image generator that you're probably used to, but it's text to video. This is some cutting edge stuff. So here is an example of the kind of output you can expect from the hugging face demo, which again is the only one that really seems to be currently working for me at least. I did cute lemon creature, and again, this one's not really as creative as the likes of Mid Journey, for example, or even Dolly too. It's very literal. We've got this little lemon animation, but nevertheless, this is really cool stuff. You know, at least it's somewhat coherent and you know, the lemon actually is moving a little bit and it's the, sort of the same image over and over again moving. It can really do real video and real animation, which is really what we're looking for here. So although this might not look extremely impressive, it really is the beginning of the future for AI generated imagery. These outputs take quite a long time uh, to render out. So, you know, I suggest giving it a shot, but it is going to take a long time. This one little lemon one took me about 10 minutes. If you want to attempt to run this on your own machine, you actually can download it and try to run it. Although I don't know what the uh, computer requirements are for this and you definitely need some uh, Python experience, which is a coding language. I say Linux servers with NVIDIA A100s are recommended. It's pretty cool though. You can see all the different frames that get rendered out separately uh, when we look at the paper. And yeah, honestly, COG video just really is no joke in general. It is coming in the future. And uh, this is the first real text to video model that's out there. It makes these little GIFs. So yeah, it's just really exciting to see stuff like this. And I really wanted to share it with you guys. So yeah, please tell me what you think down in the comments below. And let me know if you generate anything interesting. If you are able to generate anything interesting, I would absolutely love to see it posted in my Discord server under AI Generation Media. Super cool stuff. Thank you so much for watching. I'm at Video Productions, and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.